All right, so what do you need to be ready for for this problem? So you, you've got to find the centroid. It will be an area. Now, sometimes it might look like a three-dimensional figure, but it'll be, it'll be uniform in that third dimension. Uh, so it really is just an area. Um, I'm gonna, maybe I'll try to give you kind of a beam or, or something. I, I don't know. It, it could be anything, but it'll be an area where you have to find the centroid. If it's symmetric, you don't have to calculate you know, this X bar, you can just tell me it's zero and you calculate the Y bar. Uh, but if it's not symmetric, be sure to calculate X bar and Y bar. Um, and then um, once you've got the, so, so first of all, for the centroid, if axes are not drawn on there for you, draw your own axes. Draw an axis. Tell me whether you're measuring from, where are you measuring from? You know, from the bottom left corner, the bottom middle, top right, just draw your axes right there um, and find the centroid. Um, and, and, and one thing, do be ready for, you don't see it in this problem, but do be ready for finding the centroid of a uh, semicircular area or quarter circle area. And also note, you know, the eye about these and, and where they are measured from. All right, so be ready for that, even though it's not on this figure. Um, and then finding the eye, right? To find the eye, you just add up all the eyes um, of each shape. If you've got a shape that's cut out, you subtract that I for that shape. Um, so add up all the I's. Add up all the I plus AD squared. I plus AD squared. I plus AD squared. Some of them may not have an AD squared, right? If it is already, you know, if the centroid of that shape is at the centroid of of the um, at the centroidal axes, then like like these two, you might not have an AD squared, and that's okay. That's okay. So the IY, you know, you just take the IX and you kind of switch the base and the height. Although you do have these formulas on that last sheet of paper to uh, help you out. Got to have units, units inches to the fourth. You got to remember to square this distance d. That's kind of a common mistake. Is to leave that off or, or not to cube those. Um, you know, got to have dimensions to the fourth right there. Uh, and just don't get your i's and your x's and y's backwards. Don't get your x's and y's backwards. Don't get these d's backwards either. Okay. So be ready for a you know find the centroid and find the moment of inertia about the centroidal axes. For the last problem on your test, you get it right, then you'll be happy. Turn it in and enjoy, uh, enjoy the break. All right.